As some D.C. leaders continue their push to bring the Washington commanders back to the district, there is growing uncertainty about the city's chances of regaining control of the RFK Stadium site for a football stadium. Our chief investigative reporter Eric Flack is here with new reporting on the Commander Stadium, a story that is critical to our entire region. And Flack, so we know the House approved giving D.C. control of that RFK site earlier this year. And now we know it's hit a bit of a bit of a roadblock in the Senate. Yeah, that's right, Zoe. And now a local senator is signaling his intention to oppose the bill, all in an effort to keep the commanders in Maryland. If the Washington commanders have any intention of leaving their FedEx field home in Prince George's County to return to their RFK roots in D.C., they'll need Congress to clear the way, approving legislation giving long-term control of the site to D.C. government. And now Maryland Senator Chris Van Hollen is signaling potential opposition. In a statement telling WUSA 9, he plans to, quote, ensure a fair process in the selection of a commander stadium site and prevent actions that unfairly tilt the scales in favor of one location over another at the expense of federal taxpayers. Republican Senator Steve Daines of Montana currently has a hold on the RFK bill at the subcommittee level over objections from Native American constituents who are upset the team retired its former logo, which was created by members of their tribe. A well-placed source on Capitol Hill told me Daines is expected to release that hold eventually, but that source added anything can happen in the full Senate Committee on Energy and Natural Resources, which would have to advance the legislation. Conservative Republicans often oppose giving D.C. control over its affairs. Liberal Democrats often oppose anything that could help billionaires like Commander's owner Josh Harris. And right now, no one really knows where those powerful groups are going to land on this issue. If the RFK bill makes it to the full Senate, it likely won't be voted on as a standalone bill, but rather lumped together as one big packaged piece of land control legislation that would impact states across the country. So, so if Van Hollen tried to block it at that point, he would then not just be holding up the RFK agreement, but also federal land use agreements nationwide. Uh, so clearly a lot of factors at play yeah. here, uh, Flag. And, you know, the million dollar question tonight that still remains after listening to what you've reported here, does the RFK bill ultimately pass. Can yeah, it? You know, my source calls it a toss up right now, a coin toss, if you will, with politics and agenda on Capitol Hill in flux. One thing is almost certain, though, it's probably going to be around the commanders by week in December before things get any clearer. All right. They'll be keeping you busy until then. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Flack.